Hello and happy St. Patrick's Day. A year ago this month, President Biden signed into law the Cyber Incident Reporting for Critical Infrastructure Act of 2022. This enactment, the enactment of, of CERCA marks an important milestone in improving America's cybersecurity by, among other things, requiring the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, to develop and implement regulations requiring companies to report cyber incidents and ransomware payments. Uh, what does this mean for you and your business? And what does CERCA cover? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, I'm Michael Kinnett, CEO and founder of iTron Networks. And every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, I go live on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and my personal LinkedIn pages to discuss the latest in tech and cyberspace news that might affect you and your business. At the end of our live session, I always make sure I have time to answer questions. So if you have any tech or cybersecurity questions, get them ready. I'll uh, have some time at the end to, to answer those. But first up, the news. Uh, the FBI just uh, released its 2022 internet crime report and disclosed that at least 860 critical infrastructure organizations were hit with ransomware in 2022. We're going to be talking about some of the new re reporting requirements and things for these type of organizations. Uh, critical infrastructure organizations. So 860 reported that they'd been hit with ransomware. There, there may have been others that didn't report. The majority of those that reported were in the healthcare and public health sector. Uh, as, as part of this report, uh, CISA also announced uh, that it has been scanning critical infrastructure entities' networks for ransomware vulnerable devices since January 30th, 2023. And they're, and they're doing this to warn and help uh, these organizations fix the flaws before they get hacked. So they're taking a much more aggressive approach uh, on uh, helping these organizations to pr protect themselves. Um, another another headline this week, uh, a report was recently released about uh, passwords. And the study set found that 88% of hacked credentials or hacked passwords contained 12 characters or less. So if your passwords are very short and simple and under 12 characters, you may want to rethink that strategy. Uh, I've talked about good password hygiene on here before probably talk about it again uh, just we recommend using password manager and having obviously more than 12 characters uh, the, the more characters you have the more difficult it is to hack those credentials so uh, this study just came out saying 88 percent of them were had less than 12 characters so uh, pretty high numbers there now on to our, our discussion so we're going to talk about what is circuit right uh, and before i get into what circuit is you may wonder well why am i talking about this if it doesn't affect uh, everybody, right? Because it's not every business that this this new act, this new law affects. And I'm just going to say that the reason that I'm talking about it is that it may not affect you now, but it may affect you later. At the end of last year, similar regulations were passed in Nevada by the Nevada Gaming Control Board. And there's talk uh, of other industries soon requiring similar regulations. We're going we're to be talking a little bit about FTC regulations. I've talked about them before that are gonna be impacting CPAs, car dealerships, um, brokers, realtors, uh, and, and other industries that will have similar controls. And so uh, Circa may, may seem like it's a very narrow subset of, of companies and organizations within the United States. Just know that that's just the start. These regulations are going to be coming um, over the next year or two and affecting probably eventually every industry. So let's get into it. What, is, what is CERCA, right? So CERCA, as I said in my intro, stands for the Cyber Incident Reporting or Critical Infrastructure Act. It's relatively new. It's just uh, it was signed a year ago, and it requires companies to report any significant cyber incidents to the Department of Homeland Security within 24 hours of discovery. And the definition, uh, according to this act, of a significant cyber incident is pretty broad and it includes any incident that may cause harm to the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of critical infrastructure information systems or networks, which is almost any cyber, any cyber attack. The law requires that companies provide very specific information to, to DHS, Department of Homeland Security, 
Uh, this includes the type of incident, the date and time of discovery, the systems or networks affected, and the potential impact of the incident. Companies are also required to provide updates to, to DHS as the incident progresses and to cooperate with any investigations or remediation efforts with DHS. Uh, now, you think, oh, that sounds like, you know, that's critical infrastructure. That's like power companies and utilities and other things, right? Well, that, that's part of it. Uh, SMBs that provide services or products to critical infrastructure entities may also be required to comply with, with this new act. Uh, for example, an IT company such as myself, if I supported the power plant, uh, I would need to comply with the reporting requirements if it discovered a cyber incident on the power plant systems or on my systems that might have access to their systems. Uh, compliance with CERCA may be more challenging for small businesses than for larger companies due to limited resources and expertise. However, failure to comply can result in penalties, fines, and of course, reputational damage because it will become public knowledge. Uh, so there's there's no limitations, right? The, the law is regardless of your size, if you fit in that industry, you have to report it or you're going to be hit with these penalties and fines. So understanding the reporting requirements for compliance with CERCA is critical for any organization that, that fits these need, these requirements, these new regulations. It's important to be familiar with the reporting requirements, which includes um, the type of incidents that need to be reported, the information that needs to be provided and the timeline for reporting. Um, I, I'll provide a link um, in the comments to a, a white sheet provided by CISA to help understand what and how, how you should report. Uh, this would be a good file, um, a good document to keep filed away um, along with your incident, uh, incident uh, recovery plan. Uh, it's also important as part of this to assess your cybersecurity risk. SMBs should conduct a risk assessment to identify potential cybersecurity risks and vulnerabilities and identifying those that might affect their critical infrastructure uh, entities that they work with. Um, just know like that's that's a service that we do for businesses, right? We help businesses assess their cybersecurity risk. Uh, the Gaming Control Board, which I mentioned, one of their requirements is, guess what? A, a, an, at least an annual cybersecurity risk assessment. The FTC safeguards that are going into effect for other industries require a cybersecurity risk assessment. This is, the, everything's going this way. If you have not done cybersecurity risk assessments, it's only a matter of time before there is regulations passed by the government that are gonna require you to do this and to protect your data and your client's data. Uh, another part of this act and, and the others that I mentioned is uh, to implement cybersecurity measures. Uh, it's important that you implement appropriate measures to mitigate identified risks and vulnerabilities uh, some of these are firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and a big one, employee training that a lot of companies overlook. You also have to have an incident response plan uh, that includes procedures for detecting, reporting, and responding to significant cyber incidents. If you don't know what's going on, you're not monitoring it, and you don't have a plan in place to, on how you're gonna react to it, uh, time is critical, right? Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, they have to report within 24 hours. Well, if you don't have a plan in place, you might be 48 hours in before you realize uh, that, oh, I forgot to, to notify somebody. So it's, a, it's important to have a plan in place ready to implement uh, in the event that something does happen. Another thing that's important is to stay informed. Uh, you should make sure that you're, you're monitoring and up to, up to speed about changes to this law uh, and other cybersecurity regulations and best practices to ensure ongoing compliance. Compliance with CERCA is important for the critical infrastructure companies, but it's also important for everybody. This is just good practice in today's environment. It should not be overlooked by the SMEs uh, that provide services or products to critical infrastructure and these especially. Uh, your IT team can help you to take steps to understand the reporting requirements, uh, help assess your cybersecurity risks, and implement those appropriate measures. Uh, also develop an incident response plan and then keep you up to speed on changes to the law and those regulation requirements. And if you don't have a trusted IT vendor or IT department that can handle all this, uh, message me. I'd love to talk with you uh, and see how we can help either supplement what you already have in place by providing the cybersecurity side of things or uh, or helping to uh, to fill in whatever gaps you have in your, in your needs. We have a had a webinar yesterday 
um, is our free monthly educational webinar. We talked uh, about SaaS application backup. We had Jim Robinson, he's a SaaS expert from Datto. And in it, we discussed uh, how cloud applications like Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace don't claim any responsibility or liability for the data that they store for your company. Uh, if you'd like to catch the replay and learn more about how you can protect your SaaS data since they don't, uh, I'll make sure I have a link in the chat on how you can go and catch the replay of that webinar. For our uh, free educational webinar in April next month, we're going to be joined by our partners at Breach Secure Now. Uh, as discussed in this month's webinar, data is the lifeblood that keeps companies running. And the biggest risk to that data is actually insiders, employees, contractors, and vendors, right? They can either protect the data or they can make it vulnerable. And in our upcoming webinar, we're going to discover and discuss how your organization can put measures in place to detect and prevent accidental or malicious insider threats before they result in a cybersecurity incident that you have to report as we discussed today. So that'll be Thursday, April 20th at 1 p.m. Uh, we'll be posting uh, shortly, um, we'll be posting on our socials links for registrations to that and talking about it on uh, future live streams. Let's see, I haven't been looking to see if there's any questions popping in. We, I don't see any questions or comments uh, on here so far. So for those of you that, that maybe you're watching this after the fact, you know, thanks for taking the time out of your day. And if any questions do come up, you can always direct message me or you can contact us through our website at itnet.works. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and we'll catch you next week.